I've been going off for broke For my friends to like me, oh But I know they see right through me Cause they listen to my songs, yeah But I don't care, no baby, I don't care People always tell me, take a breath, hey, hey, hey I've been looking for something that haunts me all night What's up, Reefers? Welcome back to another episode of Zola Tank Boys! In this episode, guys, we're gonna be talking about the Euphilia Garden. Don't forget, merch is out, link in bio. We have hats, hoodies, you name it, we got it. So if you wanna be wearing the Zola Tank Boy swag, go and get it. If you like this channel, like, subscribe, leave a comment is the easiest way to support the channel. Let's go. For you and I We can't ignore Everything going on in between us In the light, in the dark, you're my witness All my life Been waiting for you and... Alright guys, so this is a top-down shot of the Euphilia Garden So here you're gonna see I have a mixture of Octa spawns, frog spawns, hammers Indo, a little bit of everything. Sp that one right there is one of my favorites. It's a splatter hammer. Got a peach tip octa spawn. That one is a gold hammer. And that's a translucent one in the corner, which is actually splitting at the moment. But based on my experience, all these euphilias are compatible, which is why I like to bouquet them together. But if you look... There is some space between my other euphilias. But I love the way that looks. It creates a cool little bouquet effect. Now, one guy that I've been trying to figure out what I'm going to do is that huge Duncan colony. It kind of shut down. It's kind of closing up right now. That guy right there is easily six, seven inches across. I mean, if I back up, he's, he's not all the way closed, but he's pretty closed up there. You can kind of see when he fully opens, you can't even see any of that corner yeah this is one of my favorite corals super easy to take care of they do appreciate a little bit of dirty water and they look incredible once you put the colors together because it creates a really cool colorful effect kind of looks like landscape or shrubs in a nice house same thing with the torches leave a comment below if you guys have a torch garden or a euphilia garden or what you think if it's something that you're into I would like to get more euphilias. Um, I think this tank is done regarding corals. I think it's pretty full. Um, I don't think I have any more that I'm trying to put in here because I do like that abstract look that's going on right now. So to the left, I got my regular euphilias. To the right or in the middle, I have my torches. I do have a New York Knicks torch. It's super bright. Super, super bright. If you guys watched the last episode, uh, me and Hector actually both picked these up from one of our friends who's a um, who sells coral. So his isn't doing too well, so I have it in the 170 kind of trying to recover. But I think this tank is pretty much done. You know, I like the way it looks a little abstract. The fish have so much swimming room. And I don't want to overclutter it. Look at all that swimming space in the front. A lot of times when people think about getting tangs, they always focus on how many gallons you have. But based on my experience, you need to look at how long your tank is so they actually have room to swim and make caves and all that fun stuff. But let's take a look at all the other stuff while we're here. So since one of the latest updates that I did on this tank, I have picked up a couple corals. Everything seems to be doing super, super well. Let me see, the light might make it hard to capture, but there are the little shops of horror. If you guys watched the episode where I picked those up, I literally picked those up with two heads and a baby showing. Now it's up to six heads, and they're super, super big, super open. It's super tough to see it with the glare, but super happy about that. There is my OG Rainbow Blasto. Started out with one head. I picked it up in Black Friday at Worldwide Corals in their Winter Park location. Now it has, I, can, I counted once like seven or eight heads. I'm just waiting to get those crazy pops of colors. From the homework that I've done, I have read that the higher the light that you put them, 
um, they appreciate uh, the light and they will actually get more color. Did you guys just see that? Did you guys just see that casino fish jump out of the water? That sucker literally jumped an inch or two out of the water. I've been needing to put a lid in this thing for the longest, and I really just haven't because I really don't like the look of the lid. I have a lid in my office, and it collects salt, and it's just not my favorite. But, yeah, those fish are crazy. But leave a comment, guys. What do you guys think? Is there any other euphila that I should add on? There's the return pump. So it was on feed mode, which is why it's just turning on. The gyre probably has another five minutes or so. And then the MP10 turns on whenever I press it. So let's get the flow back on and take a look at the tank. Torches love flow. I don't think that these type of euphilia appreciate much flow. I've noticed that when I hit them with a lot of flow, they tend to close up on me. So I try to avoid a lot of flow. Believe it or not, Duncan's in my, I mean, uh, eight cans love flow. Many times I have high flow going on here and they take it but these guys are not fans of the flow guys i want to show you one of my favorite zoas it's completely random i know but these zoas have taken off and they're doing so well i've tried them so many times and never did much success with them it's the rainbow trolls look at those guys and i have another colony in the office tank that's doing fantastic come on gomez gomez and morticia trying to say hi to everybody but yeah, guys, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Do you have a torch garden, a euphilia garden? What's your favorite coral? What's your favorite euphilia? I know there's some crazy, crazy patterns out there lately. There's a couple LFSs like Reef Lounge USA. I go on their website and I just go crazy with what I see. But one of my reservations with euphilias is that they are wall um, euphilia and not branching and I and all the euphilias that you see here are all branching euphilias so if you've had much luck with uh, wall euphilias leave a comment let me know because I've always stayed away from those just out of reservation from what I've heard all right reefers so we hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Zola Tank boys don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment till next time Zola Tank boys out <laughs>